after today, more or less, you're preparing yourself for retirement. Your race that you started running three years, some three years ago, comes to its end. What would you say is your greatest achievement? You know, Jonathan, one of the things that I have never done is self-examination. Mm. You may be overtly critical or you may be overly um, generous. I always think that there are two markers, what your colleagues say about you and what history would judge you, mm. especially when you did things that were different. Mm. Um, there are certain things that warms my heart. Yesterday, I met a lady, um, one of our lady colleagues, who came to me and said, Senior, you know, I used to insult you in my heart all the time. <laughs> but after listening to you, you made a very convincing argument why you did certain things. And that, for me, it's um, those things. So, naturally, you may want to do so many things. Mm. Like but one thing that I would like everybody to know, those seeking office and those outside, that I believe that the, those who studied the Garabas our fathers were different kind of people. We've been bemoaning the um, concentration of When you of say power. different with respect, what do you mean? I mean, the very good way. They were visionary. In the sense that, look, 1960, we had a constitutional literally made us hard for maybe a little bit bigger than the country. And then we sort of curtailed it a bit in 69 by having maybe independent judiciary. But we still grapple with that imperial um, precedent, precedent. I think that coming from our tradition of having chiefs with it, near to absolute power, we sort of translated that into the democratic zone. But the GBA president is not like that. Unfortunately, people, because of our constitutional journey, people see it like that. I always tell people that. After the president of the republic, I'm not saying the boost. The GBA president may be the most honorable o o office. And that people think that it is like the president. For example, our constitution makes it clear that the day to be running of the GBA is vested in the neck, not the president. Now, every member of the neck is elected from the same source. Today, we're going to elect a vice president, secretary from the same thing. So the president cannot order the secretary or, let me say, sack the secretary or leave. So you need that buy in. And it, it, it teaches you leader for attitude. You know, the idea of coming up with something and getting seven other oh, people to agree with you. And then from there, you come to another layer, the general council of the bar, all past presidents, regional presidents, secretaries across the country, full presidents, you know, trying to get them before you can come out. It takes something. Negotiation skills, mediation, and at times listening to people. You know, letting them have the buy in, letting them contribute. So people should understand that, listen, the GBA president is not, an, is not that imperial president. And for me, it is very important that our fathers were able to create an office that has honor, that has prestige, but that has limitations. And that's what maybe it could be a template for us to have um, in our constitution where we could have a president of power, of prestige, but still with a bit of limitations. How are we going to work out that conundrum? It's another thing. But the GBA is cutting it. So look, I'll give you um, just some funny, funny, I got a funny example. When we started in 2021 by using um, the portal for conference registration and shutting it down, I just noticed one thing. Immediately, the, the, thing, um, the portal is shut down. You have people come up and say, Oh, can't I you do something to, about You know that thing I, that I have calls. People yeah, call me up. I mean, like my problem with, uh, even with the problem with the, with the concerned junior lawyer, I'm telling them, Fine. No matter how I, I, I appreciate your concerns, I'm a junior lawyer, but I can't do it. And they wouldn't understand because if you send a petition to Jubilee House, the president can't say, Okay, I have withdrawn. Um, they look at when the bill was being put before Parliament. For us to consider electing our MMDCs. The president just said, like, I don't have any general to withdraw it when there was a thing. You know, when there was the domestic desk thing, I've reduced salaries of, um, salaries of political office holders. That's the thing. That's what we are used to. You know, we can't. Um, so, what would be your advice to uh, any of the contenders who, who are vying? If that's uh, I, I would just the Leonard if Gatti and Mr. Jefferson, any definitely. of them who wins, what would be your advice? One of the things that they have to must have is negotiation skill. Negotiation skills. You know, Jonathan, human beings be who we are. And lawyers seem to have egos. I mean, naturally, you can think, you know, when you have regional presidents, past presidents, these are people who naturally would have a bit of say. You cannot dictate to them. And at times, if you don't handle it well, they may end up even opposing you because you didn't handle it well. So the one thing the bar president must have is by but I'm telling you something. When after some time they gravitate towards you and have their loyalty is the best thing. Because mm. you know, at a point in time, when I go to council meetings, I feel so happy. Because you know, at a point in time, council members realize that this is what we have to do. We have very tough 
disagreement, especially on this dialogue thing. It wasn't easy. People were used to a particular way and it had to take time for them to... But I think that after a shine mine and other things, when we kept our word with the CBS and we handled things, and when um, the Occupy Jolobi thing, we did certain things differently. People now understood the essence of it. There are certain things we cannot disclose, but when we had private meetings, and especially when we paid Casey calls on the State Council of States and all those things, we realized that out there, people are hearing that why haven't we done this in the long Why haven't we had those collaborations for a very long time? So I think that later, so when, when they understood it, especially, for example, when the Japan matter came, I'll first go and see the Attorney General before we do anything. And I think that that was, but initially it was difficult. But one thing is, I didn't come telling them that, look, I'm your boy from the GBA president, I have a vision, I'm smarter than you. No. Look, look at something like Samuel Jetro on the council. Frank Vito, then Silic Chupu, Tony Fawcett. I'm going to add you know, to the so DJC. Paul and DJC, you have these Pambi Tata, Neil Samuels. These are powerful items, you know. <laughs> can you imagine? The Albuquerque BGBA president and dictating to Samuku Jeto. No way in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so that is what it really um, 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 teaches you. That is the reason I was saying in my speech that look, that everything I did had a reason. You know, when we remodeled our secretariat, I made sure that we have to. So at times when I sit there, you tell you look at RS Blay, RGTC, Hayford, Bintu Usu, JB Dunkla. You look at these individuals, these are fenoms. Then you see who, who, who you are. How did they do? So if a little comes, you ask yourself, how would RS play with the old um, um, GB that for approval of my conduct? That's a high standard. So for me, that is what it is. And I think that you must have a lot of humility. Mm. You know, Jonathan, as my faith always, uh, even though I do wear it on my sleeve and everything, my faith really affects um, um, the way I do things. I like even the Old Testament a lot. Mm. Because for me, my personal theology is that this new, the New Testament ensures our salvation, but the Old Testament teaches us how to live. You know, I don't approach the Asians like Abraham and David. They all have their weaknesses, just like us. But and something in First Kings chapter five that really touches me. Solomon was trying to build on the temple, but he went to Agag and said, "Look, we don't know how to cut wood. Bring us wood." Solomon, you know, one of the things about life is God did not create us in a way that we can do anything. You know, go to school. Isn't it surprising that all our sportsmen were academically dumb? <laughs> Most of them. So you, you tease them, you tease them. The day you want to play a football match, you'll be breaking that person. You, and you'll you be standing the stands. So on behalf you. of our listeners, they were academically not that apt. <laughs> you know, like, I like the way you're like, you know, yeah. you know, but you see the thing, and then you see that person you are always teasing in class. Mm. You know, you will now be, you'll be standing there, start jumping the chair if you want. You know, and all the ladies will be go to go to the <laughs> team. Okay. So, well, that's one of the things that you have to learn. For example, one learning um, experience that I had, I am a social national secretary. You know, that uh, I was fortunate to have that transition because I was national secretary working absolutely wonderful with Mr. Forsen. And I will always share this experience with Mr. Forsen. Mr. Forsen and I were the best of friends until 2015. We fell out. You know, I, I said, if you don't see, we all laugh about it. 2015 was angry with me for not supporting me, but, you know, we fell out a bit. So in 2018, 2015, I, uh, whose presidency was it? Was it yeah. Benson? The, the, the one that Benson didn't come out. Yes, yes. But yes. then I fell off and he wasn't talking. So for three years, he wasn't really, for somebody who was like very close, so he wasn't talking to me. And then in 2018, I also decided to openly support the Tanzanian well, openly. He also supported Abidjan Samuel openly. I mean, there was no things about it. Then the government for India. He wins. Um, yes, he wins. My preference, Tanzanian loses. Losses and loses. His preference, Samuel Ubo loses, I win. What did I do? So, I asked a lawyer called Kwekun Zhansan. We drove to Mr. Forsen's office. Like I can share these things. Well, he works really around 10 o'clock. I said, Tony, do you know the problem? You know, we may have a problem, but the bar is said that you and I must work together. Trust me, I have to work with you. Too. And you know, look at how my Forsen and I can. We're not even talking before 20. We work so well. And one of the things that I, I loved about the fact was that we all allow to be. Look, Tony and I will sit in his office and we'll be screaming, banging our heads. But he, we, everybody appreciated. Up to this day, I'll call him, you know, Uncle Sam. You know, that's why I said that they should talk to me privately. That's what we do. But one thing that I learned was I'm not a, an IT person. Mm. Like, we all know enough to send our emails and everything. And when we started this forcing revolutionary idea of using IT, 
Oh, so he was a progenitor. He was, he was, he was his presidency. Um, um, but he, he, that was his manifesto. And we are to. It's not, it was his manifesto from that. I didn't promise that. It's made life but easy he, for everybody. Listen, but the challenges that we had to go through, it was like, let's do it. Now, I'll be sitting in Integrate's office. And then I learned something that IT, IT people don't solve any problem. You have to sort, let them solve your problem for you. All right, look, that's how we build our portal. You see, yeah, you I think I, I appreciate that because because I've, I've built a lot of websites. Absolutely. And they, they have to take my lead. They, they always come to me. I you appreciate know, what you're saying. The first time that we did this process, Mr. Manu was, she's a young point who was the committee that we set up. We opened advertising list and wanted to do with it. Then the presentation was done. We settled on um, some other company. They couldn't do it. Then we had to settle on Integrate. Then one day, they brought, we tested it on Twitter, it wasn't, wasn't working for us. Now, what happened was that just before they did their presentation, the e justice thing at the post from South African came to them. We just realized it wasn't going to work. So we then realized that boys and boys should tell them that this is the way we do things. So we realized, look, we're going to purchase an already off the shelf software. Yeah, no, exactly. Let's build our own. exactly. And trust me, some programmers, a boo, the late a boo, Jerry, those guys were smart. Look, this is how we do it. And we use that as an example. So I just realized that I found myself as secretary telling programmers that this is the way we do it. And it was a learning curve. You see, that is when we realized that, listen, even though initially it was for this, we had built something that we can use to do it. Now look at where we reached. You get the point. I was part of the process. So my transition was um, seamless. So it is very important that when either, because either of them is coming from outside, yeah. this is that's where Mrs. Gaga coming from. Well, no, not fairly outside, because no, they've, see, they've had the, the way the buy fight at, at the regional region level. The, yes, it's a totally different model. Mm. Both of them mm. are coming not because of anything. Mm. But that is where their, their leadership thing is going to be tested. Mm. Trust me, I have been a regional president before, mm. I've been regional secretary before, and I've been national secretary before. It is just two worlds. It's like a third world and a third world. So the requirements are different. You get the point. But when they come, I'm trying to tell you, there is a team in there that if you show them leadership, they're going to work for you. I, when you uh, say team, you mean the Secretariat of the National the, Council? The Secretariat of the National Council. Mm -hmm. What they need from you is leadership. And if you show them leadership, they'll work for you. Fantastic. They'll work for you. I trust me, I mean, I love um, the people there. But it's one thing about them, they need leadership. Mm. So you need a dose of a huge dose of humility. Mm. At least in your initial um, stages. Mm. You, you're going to come with your own idea. Mm. Your manifesto, as I said, Mr. Fawson was the one who was coming as president that he was going to use IT. Secretary, I think... I think the, that was your idea. That was, that was his idea. But I had to jump onto the ship. No, no because he's a president. Yes. He, he, that is his vision. Exactly. Because I had my vision for the bar. And you spoke to me. But you see, that's where you need to have that skill mm. where people would appreciate. You need a huge dose of humility mm. to be able to overcome those challenges. You have to get people to buy you and then you have to listen to people and let people also have it buy you. At times, you know, when the product is owned by everybody, nobody can decide. Exactly. Because, for example, when Mr. Forsen was president, we developed over a convention. It's up to this day. Next members don't disagree in, 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 in uh, public. That's why I said, uh, if you come to make, if someone got very chaotic, you know, <laughs> you know, lawyers are uh, putting eight lawyers in a small room. So it's very chaotic, but the good thing is that immediately we take a neck position. Well, we bound by nobody, no, and nobody's bound by it. There are times, even as I said, I've had situations where my, my views have been jettisoned. Mm. My position has been jettisoned. Mm. We've disagreed on so many things, but it's the end. We work with a lot of people, mm. you know, that's the thing. It's, um, an honorable thing if you get it right. Great. But trust me, if you get it wrong, Great. it can be big. So, yeah. Mr. President, I'm grateful. Thank you, John. And all the best. Thank you.